Hey everybody, I'm Cinnamon Coney, your Art Sherpa. And today I'm gonna to show you how to create this very easy dandelion using the acrylic technique of painting with cotton swabs. So get your paint, get your brushes, come back and meet me at the easel right now. I'm gonna show you how you can do this easily at home. Let's cover the materials that you're going to be using in today's project. Now here I have a nine by 12 surface for acrylic paint. It is black. You can buy those at the store already painted. You can paint a surface black and you can even use a black heavyweight paper. For the acrylic paint over here, I have the colors pink, red, orange, yellow, turquoise, blue, green and purple, a little white, a little black. I have bunches of cotton swabs bundled together with small plastic rubber bands, a few loose ones, a number four round brush for the stem, and a little piece of chalk, like the kind that you might find for a kid's chalkboard because it's easily removed, to sketch in the design so I can kind of work my things out. Now let's go through the steps that it's going to take for you to create this at home. So to make your job easier, especially as a new artist, you can use chalk to make a plan before you apply the paint. I'm going to take my chalk here. I'm gonna come over a little bit from the edge because I don't wanna come right off the edge. And I'm gonna very gently curve a line in towards the center of my surface. If this is the halfway point of my surface, you've got about three fingers where I'm ending that stem. I'm gonna add a little button shape that's going to be the center of our dandelion. And then you can just very lightly tapping this up and down, sketch out your circumference that you're going to want for your surface. And then I also like to, at this stage, plan how my fluff might be coming off and float away. I think we're ready for the paint now. I'm gonna grab my number four brush and I'm gonna get a little white paint right onto it. You can see me going right there. And I'm gonna start working in my stem. Just very carefully, trying not to apply too much pressure. Make a thin line right over your guideline that you created with your chalk just in your white paint. You've got black paint right there if you make a boo-boo. And so if anything goes wrong, that is a good way to erase, is just paint it back, back, back over once that the paint is dry. <laughs> All right, every once in a while I like to rinse out. I'm gonna get a little more and I'm going to kind of imply those little bits that are at the end, you can see I press in and curve and release. With just little bits of fluff, maybe one more coat there. And it can be nice to take a little of your black and white to make a dark gray, to come underneath, maybe a little darker gray than that, underneath or a bit of a shadow or two tones, if you can do that. Rinse that, put your brush to the side, and now it's time to pick up your magic tool, your cotton swab. So I'm gonna grab one of the bunches, I have five together in this bunch, and I'm gonna begin with maybe my color pink that I like so much, and I'm gonna come here and tap up and down like this is a stamp. Tapping up and down, leaving space right around the center for the dandelion. You can see how the chalk is guiding me. And then I might go right into the red and blending it back by stamping backwards into the pink. We're gonna create a beautiful transition ra uh, rainbow all around our dandelion. It's going to be so colorful and pretty. I'm going to flip this over to the clean side for the orange and come right back in. You can see you want to pick your favorite colors for these paints. Stamping up and down, just pressing up and down. 
if your cotton swabs are getting fluffy, you want to have several extras on the side so you can change it out. There's one. Let's grab one with maybe three together, and I'm going to get some yellow. Now, on yellow, it can be nice to add a little white to the mix because yellow paints can be a little transparent and it might help your yellow to show a little bit better. You can see I'm bringing it back into our dandelion stem. As I flip over, I can go right into our turquoise. This will be a very pretty blend. Coming around, making a fluffy, fluffy dandelion. Now, because the yellow and the turquoise are here, I think I might grab a bit of the green now and put a little green in that transition between the two of them. Can you see that? My cotton swabs are getting fluffy. I put them to the side. I'll pick up another bunch. I'm coming around the front with a little bit of my green. And I'll go ahead and get some of that dark blue. Just such a lovely blue coming around the side here. It's a really colorful dandelion, isn't it? Flip over to the purple. You guys are doing great. You can do this. See, you're just stamping up and down. Painting doesn't have to be hard or scary. You can do anything. Keep going. You've got it. Remember to breathe deep and relax. Now, where the purple's coming here, I might come back around to my pink again to make a nice transition between these two areas in my circle that's coming around. Can you see that? These little touches can make a really beautiful painting. Putting that aside so you can see how many swabs I've used. Now I'm going to pick up my teeny tiny little tip of this brush right here. You're going to find this is really helpful. And let's pick some of your favorite colors. I want to make sure there's not too much water on there. Pick some of your favorite colors. And what you're going to do is make a little curved line. See how it's thicker at the back and it gets thinner as it goes out. And then few little fluffs out. I'm going to get some red. I like my red. Curve that one this way. You can rinse out if you're going to a new color that might be very different than the color you're using. So if I'm going from red to blue, I might rinse out. Making another little swab here with my very favorite turquoise. I love turquoise. Get some blue. You can see I'm just using the tip of the brush, not pressing very hard, and that's how I'm getting a nice fine line. The brush gives me a nice fine line. Maybe I'll get some yellow and white on here and finish this off. Now, when that's all done, you can take some clean water. Everywhere the paint is dry, you can come in. And remove any of your chalk that might be showing. Cleaning that up. Now, the very last part is signing. Pick a color you really love. I'm going to go into my turquoise because I really love that color. Come here to the stem and just go ahead and very gently mark your name. And again, how I'm getting that thin line is I have a good brush with a sharp point but also that I'm not pressing on the brush very hard. Wow, that is so gorgeous. And we did that together. I can't wait to see yours online. Be sure and share it with me. Remember to be good to yourself and be good to each other. And I want to see you at an easel really soon. Bye-bye.